Hello and welcome everybody to 1993. 1993 is a fun year in golf. Bernard Langer won the Masters. I always get his name wrong. Bernhard Langer. I think I'm saying that right. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, who won the Open? Greg Norman? Shh, we don't talk about Greg Norman. And then, oh, let's talk about movies. When you're a kid, okay, so I was a kid. And movies come out that you remember, like Coneheads, Robin Hood, Men in Tights, right? It's like the the fun movies. Nightmare Before Christmas, like, you're like, yes, I love these movies. But looking back, it's like other really influential movies came out then, like Schindler's List. I mean, some good movies came out in 1993, but we're not talking about movies. We're talking about golf. And Wilson is entering the Titanium Woods field with this, the whale titanium. Let's get this on the review table and have a closer look. The whale the bears, my dicka. All right, the whale. So it's literally etched in titanium. The picture of a whale, whale over titanium. Wilson USA in red down here by the heel side of it. A huge wood number, in this case one, the driver. Before we go too far with you know this, I wanna compare this to the laminate real quick. Can you see the, there is, a size difference. The laminate, this might be the only time in history where a wooden club is bigger volume wise than the titanium version of it. I don't know. Does that seem like maybe the titanium's a little bit deeper faced? But I mean, I'm having trouble in my mind grasping this that the laminate versus the titanium. Anyway. Spinning around the skirt here, you can see there's this satin finish gray, which is really lovely. Every whale needs to breathe. You need a blowhole on your whale. That's just how it is right there. That's your alignment line. That's how you breathe. The alignment lines look beautiful. You get these dimples in the middle in a kind of a diamond shape with these little black grooves and then the white grooves on the outside. It's just lovely. I love it all around. Moving up, we see this ferrule looks like it's been over polished. Like, look, there is, it's almost flush with this shaft. I'm not sure if they did that from the factory. I think this might've been modified or polished afterwards or maybe even replaced. So for what it's worth identifying your <laughs> titanium whale, it should be pretty easy because the sole. In this case, we have an Aldola low torque 2.5 graphite shaft. You can see it's firm flex, mid flex point, 2.5 degree torque. And then we have some color embellishments here, little bands of maroon and gold. And then I put the sticker on to remind me the year. And we have a Golf Pride Tour Wrap grip, just a rubber grip that can be pretty slick in the rain, if those of you have watched my Titleist review where I might have lost that in a rainstorm. Anyway, the whale versus the laminate. No, that's not what we're doing. We're actually just gonna review the titanium, the whale. Let me know if you wanna see a full comparison of the two in another video. Maybe I'll do that, that sounds like fun. Either way, we're gonna get this on the range and see how it swims. Wilson, whale. You ask yourself, how do you make a whale better? Make it out of titanium, titanium whale. Um, I can tell you right now, this is a lot heavier than I expected it would be. Like this feels like a big old lump of lump of steel down at the end of this stick. It's also not that much bigger. So in, by 1993, Mizuno has already come out with a titanium driver. McGregor has come out with a titanium driver. So nothing that revolutionary here, but this is Wilson's oversized driver here. This is their attempt to uh, bring forgiveness to the world of golf. Let's try one of these broken tees. It should be enough for what we got going on here. All right, nice long driver here, made out of titanium. What could possibly go wrong? Sounds very solid. We have a strong left to right wind today and I sliced it, so it's just gonna amplify that that movement. I might tee it up a little bit higher, see if I can get some pulls and some lefts going. Pattern seems to be 
when I tee it up low, I generally slice it. So again, just aiming down, kind of that 200 yard marker, expecting it to go pretty far right. Pulled draw, yes. That was actually a pretty good hit, it didn't feel toey. Some good distance on that, but a pull hook. It feels like, to me, it seems like this shaft is really long too. I'm not sure if it's just my imagination, but it does feel that way. All right. Here we go. Let's see if we can hit one more kind of in the general direction of downrange. Don't know if you're gonna be able to see that one. It went pretty straight, had some slight draw spin on it, but felt a little toey as well. I can see the mark right here. I hit it right here. So I centered a few of them because I see some center marks here, but the last one a little toey. So Wilson will titanium. I, my first impression is that I'd rather have the Wilson laminate, the Wilson wood, than the Wilson ti the titanium whale. Whales are better made out of wood. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Did you play this titanium whale? So after watching that, I struggled with this club, but I'm glad I just didn't whiff one, which is in the realm of possibility or that I didn't lose it out into the range, which I've also done. So I wanted to compare it to the laminate because the laminate is a little bit bigger, like footprint, maybe a tiny little bit shallower face, but it is shorter. So this is 45.75 inches, right? So 45 and three quarters of an inch, where this is only 44 and one quarter inch. So it's more than an inch shorter than the titanium version. Hmm, where's all that distance coming from? Must be the titanium. No, it's length. Which explains why this felt so long for such a small head, by comparison. My TaylorMade M2 is stock, okay? And stock off the shelf, it comes at 45.75 inches. So the same length as the whale titanium here. Can you see that? It's just funny how like this is the same now as it was back in 19, titanium was in 1993. Does that seem weird? I'm glad I have all this extra help on this face. Can you see the strike patterns here? I'm, I need that extra, that extra volume, that extra face surface area. So that's just the comparison. So you guys have some idea. Titanium hadn't come to its own yet. They hadn't figured out what's going on. It's an exotic material. It's cool, but what can we do with it? Well, we can make it lighter so we can make the club longer and bigger, right? <laughs> well, they were working on that. So this is a huge step when a company like Wilson comes out with the Titanium Club. I think this really opened the floodgates to everybody else saying, hey, Mizuno, you know, or McGregor, those aren't the only two that are making Titanium Woods now. Let's bring it on, everybody. Let's get the competition going. And this, I love this part of golf history because this is where that explosion of the great big Bertha, the biggest big Bertha, all of these tailor-made is gonna jump into the fray as well with the TI bubble and just, everybody's just gonna run wild with this until we get where we are today, which is just an amazing, you know, selection of amazing clubs that perform at such a high level. So, really interesting. Now, okay, so interesting historically, but would you, would I put this in the bag. I didn't like hitting this club. It didn't build confidence. Nothing about it seemed special. Even when I hit it, it sounded like steel. Wielding it, it felt like a steel, it felt like a tailor-made Pittsburgh persimmon. I'd rather play the McGregor titanium. The Mizuno, pick one over this. Yes, Wilson's a cool brand. 
and had been historically as well, and they're innovating. I appreciate that. But not something I'm going to seek. Not something I want. The whale was so cool as a laminate. It was awesome. I want the whale laminate, but not the titanium. Why is that? Why do I hate this club so? Is it because of you? We're going to have a whale off here. I might make a future comparison video, but me no likey. So my opinion. So there you have it. I started out doing a whale titanium and I'm ending with the whale laminate. I like this. I like this a lot more. It's is super cool. I think it's awesome. Uh, the uh, link to uh, Payne Stewart. Is that correct? This is the one that Payne Stewart used, right? Love it. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm excited to read. As usual, huge shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. If you'd like to join us on Patreon, I offer general support, which means a couple behind the scenes pictures, maybe a video once a month, and it really supports this channel. Another way to support this channel is visiting my Amazon shop. I have a link in the description below. I am an Amazon associate. I make proceeds from qualifying purchases. That's how it helps this channel. Thank you everybody for watching. If you enjoy this content, please subscribe. I am the Vintage Golfer.